Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to Our Issues Birmingham. I'm Tommy Spina. Today's guest is General Charles Krulak. He, uh, most re uh, aside from his unbelievable military history that he will probably not talk about, That's uh, for he, sure. <laughs> he most he most recently uh, was asked by our new mayor Randall Woodfin to serve on his transition team. I think to lead the transition team. And that's part of what we want to talk about today. But before we get to that, welcome to our show. Great to be here. I want you to know that you are our first guest with our new backdrop. I noticed that. It's uh, a, my favorite city right there. There it is. We're sitting right up on top at the club, uh, staring down <laughs> at the city. It's a little chilly out today. Uh, it is indeed. But this is much improved than we feel than the clouds that we used to be uh, forced to sit in. So uh, <laughs> tell me something. You're affiliated yeah. with Birmingham Southern, I know. Sure. But how did you end up in Birmingham with all the travels and all the places you've been in your life? Uh, that's an interesting question. We never, my wife and I, of 53 years, we'd never been to the state of Alabama. Never. And obviously, not been in the state of Alabama, never been to Birmingham. Uh, on the 10th of November, 2010, I came with my wife to Birmingham to receive uh, the Veteran of the Year Award from the city. Uh, my belief is they gave it to the oldest living veteran, and so I was, I was nominated. Uh, You're not the oldest living veteran. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but uh, we came here, and, and while I was at the dinner, the awards dinner, uh, two people came up to me and said, look, it, we know you're interested in becoming a college president. And I had been nominated to be a president of three colleges. And they said, before you make a decision, we'd like you to go out and take a look at a little college on the hilltop overlooking Birmingham called Birmingham Southern College. And so my wife and I did that. The very next day, we, we went out to uh, uh, the hilltop and spent six hours doing what I call secret shopping. And at the end of those six hours, uh, my wife and I got in our car. We're Christians, uh, and she looked at me and she said, this place is remarkable. And, and I said, what do you mean? And she said, this is it. This is where we're supposed to Ooh, be. Oh, it gives me chill bumps. Yeah, this is where we're supposed it to be. It felt right. It felt right, and we went back to the hotel, Tutwiler Hotel, and wrote, three letters to the other three colleges that I was nominated for and, and withdrew my name and threw my name in the hat for Birmingham Southern. Uh, went to the college, spent uh, four and a half years there. While we were there, we fell in love with Birmingham. And so when it came time to where are we going to retire to, uh, this was top of the list. And you've been all over the world. Been 141 countries. And no regrets. No regrets at all. We, we love the city. I mean, it, it has uh, a lot of things positive about it, some things not so positive, but, but it's prepared to do the right thing at the right time for the right reason. So you, you were asked by Mayor Whitfin to join his transition yeah. team or to lead his transition yeah. team, and uh, how did that come about? That's a real interesting question. Uh, <laughs> I That's my only, job. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't. I had only met the man one time. I, I had gone to a, a dinner, uh, and it was a, a, a fundraising dinner. I, I literally did not know it was a fundraising dinner. It was just going to a dinner, and there was going to be a gentleman by the name of Randall Woodfin there. And so uh, we talked maybe for five minutes maximum. And then the night before the election was to be held, uh, I'm laying in bed. It's it's 9:30 at night, and I got a phone call. It was from Randall Woodfin, and he said, uh, "General Krulak, I'm calling you before the election because I want to ask you something." And he said, "I want to ask you to chair my transition, if I win." And I said, "Well, you know, it's 9:30 at night. Uh, I got to one pray on that." Two, I've got to talk to my wife about it. And three, 
I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time learning more about you to really look at the Woodfin plan, to, to talk to people. But I said, because you did me the courtesy of asking me before the election, I'll give you an answer before the clo polls close. Huh. And, and uh, because I didn't want him to think that I was doing it because, oh, yeah. I'm in with the, the new mayor. And so I said, I'll, I'll give you an answer before the polls close. And, and about three in the afternoon, I gave him the answer. And I said, yes, I, I do. Because what I learned about him, not just from my own reading, but from what people had to say, that this is a remarkable man mm -hmm. and that uh, he was somebody who could make a difference uh, to the city that that had adopted us and that we had adopted. Do uh, so you you were given like a he won the election of course yeah and uh, you were given like a thirty day run and start which was really to, interesting. to get into the groove of what's going on in the city. Tell us about that initial thirty well, day period. I think I think people need to understand that, that there was a a discussion right at the beginning as to whether or not. Uh, we would have the inauguration fairly soon with the city council or whether we would wait. And, and the decision was we'd wait. And uh, we, in fact, had 30 days that turned out to be a, a, a real godsend because it allowed us uh, to, one, become very familiar with each other and, two, to wrap our heads around uh, the lanes of action that were articulated in the Woodfin Plan. And so we used that time to really nail down uh, the initial foundation of a strategic plan that would allow the city to uh, prosper under a new mayor. I want to explore some more details relative to what you just said when we come back from our break. Sure. So don't lose that thought. This is Our Issues Birmingham. I'm Tommy Spina. We'll be right back. Don't go away.